Have you ever wanted to use flash fill and just not sure how it worked? Or have you wondered if there was just an easier way to kind of have this repeat pattern put into your data? You're like, is there even a way in Excel to do that? Well, let's go head on into Excel. I'm gonna show you the wonders of flash fill, how you're able to make your life easier. You've got a lot of data that you wanna change up modify and move around. I'm Allison Gonzalez, a Microsoft certified trainer here at Pragmatic Works, back with another Excel basic for you. So let's get over into Excel to get started. All right, let's talk about flash fill as whenever we have a list where we want to have a bunch of things like this example right here where I have a first name column and a last name column. And I would love to have all of that together in one. So flash fill allows me to put it into the first row, that first cell, which would be C2 right there. And all I need to do is type exactly what I want to see in this cell and then I can do flash fill to get that down. Now, flash fill is super handy, especially when you have a large list. Even if you have something like 20 and I don't wanna to have to manually type out every single one of these, flash fill is so handy to have. Now there's three ways uh, that I'm gonna show you for how you're able to do flash fill. And I also have it on three different essentially data sets so we can see how the different ways to do flash fill and also how this can apply for different data sets. So let's try our first method on this one. So we wanna combine our first name and our last name together. So again, we just wanna type in that first cell of the first row, what we want to see exactly. So I'm gonna type in that. I'm gonna make sure I put the space in because I want to have that. And now what we're gonna do with this first method to get our flash fill is we're gonna to go to our data tab. So up here at the top, we can go up here to our data tab and in our data tab, we have a flash fill button right over here. So we can click on that flash fill button and there it goes. It automatically went through and saw all of the things below ours where there was a first name column and a last name column and combined those all with a space for me. And you can see I did that pretty much instantaneously, super, super quick. All right, our next one, let's do the opposite. Let's have the names together, but let's just extract or pull out. I just want the first name here. Again, of course, you could also go with the last name, the character, whatever you want. We're just gonna pull out the first name. So I'm gonna type in John for my first person. And again, you have that cell selected. And of course, I could do that same exact method, go to the data tab, do flash fill, and that would work. You could do that method for all of these data sets and it would work on all of them. But I'm gonna show you a few other ways you can do flash fill. So for this method, I'm gonna hover over the corner. I'm gonna pull this down. Now you're like, um, Allison didn't really do anything. It gave me the first name of the first one for all of these. Well, what we're gonna do is you can see right here in that bottom right corner, we have this little autofill option button. I'm gonna click on that to select it, and you can see we actually have some options to change what appears when we do that drag down. Now, we can see we just went with copy cells, but what I wanna do is that bottom one. We've got our flash fill right here. So I changed to flash fill, and there we go. We were able to extract or pull out that first name from that column. So again, both flash fill methods would have worked for this one, and this method also would have worked for the first and last name as well. Now let's go to this final one. For this one, I have a few different columns of address information, and I wanna have the full address right here all together. So the first name, the address, the city, the state, the postal code, when all of that showing up in the full address. Again, we're going to fill in that first address and you want to make sure you're putting in any spaces, commas, punctuation, all of that stuff that you want appearing. You need to make sure that it's entered in appropriately, exactly as you need it to be in this first cell because that's the example. That's what's going to be duplicated for all of these. So go ahead, type that in. 
once you have your address exactly as you want it, we are then going to do a third method for our flash fill. So this one is actually going to be a key shortcut, and it is going to be with the control and E key. So control and E, and boom, it did flash fill. Now, personally for me, they save the best one for last. That's the method I am using when I remember that. But control plus E, so literally the control key on your keyboard and the letter E, you're going to press both of those at the same time. Of course, with that first cell selected, and it is going to do our wonderful flash fill. So all three of these methods work for any of these data combining or extracting that we want to do. All you have to do is in that first cell, put exactly what you want to see, and then you can either go to the data tab and hit flash fill. You can drag it down if you don't have a ton of options, like we have only like 20 some right here, so it's not a ton. And then change that in that bottom right corner of your options. Or my preferred favorite easiest method, I think, is just with that first cell, perfectly filled out and formatted how you want it to be. You're just going to hit the control key and the letter E on your keyboard at the same time, and it will do the flash fill for you. You can also see if you hover over the flash fill button, if you forget and you're like, oh man, I want to do flash fill and I have a bunch to do and I don't have to keep coming over to the data tab to do that. You can always see Excel is generally really good with putting in its key code exactly on that button. So I can see if I hover over flash fill, it's showing me, hey, control plus E automatically fills that in. So if you forget the key code, it is right here and you can just hover over that. And the flash fill button, of course, is in your data tab. Leave a comment below if this is something that is totally new to you and you're excited to put this into practice, or if you have other tips and tricks about this that you could put into play. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. That way you'll be able to see all the videos as they come out. All the videos here on the Pragmatic Works channel are about all the topics on the Power Platform, not just Excel. So you learn about Power BI, Teams, Power Apps, and much more. Also, you can sign up to take hours and hours of Excel training over on our on-demand learning platform, and I will have that linked for you below. So happy learning, and I will see you in my next video.